One of the most important properties of concrete in its hardened state is compressive strength. It's also important because other properties like flexural and bond strength can be correlated with compressive strength. The compressive strength is affected by the constituent materials properties, their proportion, the curing conditions, and test conditions. Today we would perform the compressive strength of concrete test as per IS 516, 2020. Cement, sand, fine and coarse aggregates, water, pans, mixer, cubic moles, and vibration table to make concrete. Compression testing machine for testing. Measure the ingredient in right proportion and mix them thoroughly. Then pour the concrete in cubic moles and use a tampering rod for initial compaction, then switch on the vibration table to ensure proper compaction of concrete. After two days, we would unmold the cubic specimen, take care it doesn't crack. The specimens are submerged in water for 28 days and this water should be renewed periodically. Remove the specimen from water on day 28. The specimen shall be tested immediately on removal from the water whilst they are still wet. Surface water and grit shall be wiped of the specimens and any projecting fins shall be removed from the surfaces. The dimensions of the specimens shall be noted before testing. The bearing surfaces of the testing machine and of the loading strips shall be wiped clean before placing the specimen in CTM machine. Place the specimen in the CTM. Cube specimens shall be compressed perpendicularly to the direction of casting. The load shall be applied without shock and increased continuously at a nominal rate of 14 MPa per minute. This translates to 5.25 kN per second for a 150 mm cube. The maximum load applied shall then be recorded. The appearance of concrete and any unusual features in the type of failure shall also be noted. If we have a glass shaped failure, then it is regarded as satisfactory, and the sample data could be used for calculation. However, if it's unsatisfactory, then the sample is discarded and spare sample should be used for testing. We need minimum three satisfactory specimens data. Compressive strength of the specimen shall be calculated by dividing the maximum compressive load taken by the specimen by its cross-sectional area. Average of three values shall be taken as a representative of the batch, provided the individual variation is not more than average plus or minus 15% of the average. Otherwise, we should repeat the test. However, if there are no further specimens than the average of two, closest values may be taken as the result. The compressive strength shall be expressed to the nearest 0.5 MPa. Our experimental compressive strength was 32.87 MPa. So, in this video we have seen the preparation of cubes and procedure for compressive strength of concrete and the various precautions that should be taken during testing and analysis. Thank you.